Welcome to Fabulous Football Friday. It is back and better than ever presented by Lowe's Nissan. And we are so happy to be here tonight for our first week of Fabulous Football Highlight. We're bringing you all the highlights, the scores, the best players of the day, the stars, and there's only one way to start. And that's obviously with the champs. The Independent Patriots, double-A champs, 13-0, didn't even lose a game. They lost the Kennedy Award winner. They lost five players on defense. They lost six players, first-team All-State players. But they're revamped, they feel like, and they're better. Let's go out to Liberty as they take on the defending champs. We start out with a horse getting Liberty pumped up, and Independence had no problem. Trey Bowers hands it off to Tyler Linkswiler. Remember that name, ladies and gentlemen, as Linkswiler leaves his way into the five-yard line, and then he finishes what he started. Touchdown, Independence. Patriots at midfield. Bowers drops back to pass. He sees his guy, Silas Nelson, and he makes it look easy from there. Walk-in touchdown for Mr. Nelson. The Patriots are rolling. Now, Bowers hands it off to Connor Bradford, and now it's Bradford's turn to have some fun. He cuts, and he goes, and Bowers goes 54 yards for the touchdown. His first carry of the season. No need to warm up, said Bowers. Now, Bowers back to Linksweiler. I said remember his name because he put on a show, weaving and bopping through the defense, 30-yard capped off with a roll. Bowers in shotgun now, ready to do some throwing action. He throws a screen to Nelson, and Nelson does a break, a tackle, going all the way to the end zone, but he gets hit right at the two-yard line. But Trey Bowers says, I got you from here, my friend. Independence scored on their first six possessions of the game, and Bowers in shotgun again. This time, he turns and gives it to Bradford, and Bradford finds the hole and gets down to the red zone as the Patriots look to score again. This time, it's Bowers' turn to take off. He looks down the field, decides to tuck it, and he's off and running. He lowers his shoulder and gets into the end zone. That's Bowers' third TD of the game, and Independent goes on to win 68-0. to zero. We go out to Shady Spring where Roan County is in town, and this one got interesting from the opening kick. Shady kicks it deep, and Shea Harper decides to start the season off with a bang as he takes this one all the way down. He's going to the 30, the 10, the 15, and he gets tackled at the 5 with a man on his back. What a run by Harper. Jacob Greathouse now. Guess what? He gives it to his brother, Cooper Greathouse, and Cooper finishes the drive off. Roan opens up with a seven-point lead. Shady looking to get something going, but Lane Watson comes off the edge and causes havoc for Brady Green. Tigers' student section was fired up. They're trying to get Shady rolling. First game of the season, get some points on the board, please, they say. And it does get the team up. As Gavin Davis takes the handoff down to the one-yard line, truck sticks the man, but can they finish the drive is the big question. Roan County says doesn't think so. The big boys up front come through as they build a wall and say no Tigers allowed. This now was a game of Bluefields. We called it the Battle of the Bluefields. It was Graham, Virginia versus Bluefield. You can't get much better than that. First game of the season, and when I say this was a rivalry, it was chippy. Let's go out to Graham for this one. And this was a defensive game back and forth here. Teams fighting for yardage every step of the way, and lots of five-yard runs. It was chippy. But I'll tell you what, Bluefield and Graham had it going. There was 12 thousand nine hundred people in this game and this was the big score of the game right here a deep pass for the touchdown perfectly placed perfectly catch third quarter and Graham takes the lead 12,900 cheering these two teams on Bluefield couldn't get anything going offensively they try a deep pass there offensive pass interference as the man tackles actually smart move by the offense there they saved a touchdown then you see my man hit the corner here but nothing could happen as Graham goes on to win this game 14 to 9. That does it for this, but don't worry, we'll be back with a lot more right after this.